This is the Mercedes GLC. And it's fair to say that Mercedes were a little late in coming to the premium compact SUV market. But this GLC is now the brand's biggest seller, so it was obviously worth the wait. It had a mild refresh in 2019, which incorporated new LEDs and new grille and a redesigned bumper. So let's take a look and see what it's like inside. As you'd expect from Mercedes, um, the quality is, is very good. Um, you've got nice soft touch materials up here and these are man-made leather seats which are very convincing. They look like real leather and feel like real leather So, and they are very comfortable. And I really like the simplistic and elegant style of the interior. I like these nice piano style keys for the ventilation and heating system. It's very, very easy to use and it just looks very smart. You've got a few shortcut keys for the radio and your phone and, and the sat-nav, which are also very easy to use. Now, this is the touchpad that also um, operates your infotainment system. I don't find it very intuitive. I just use the touchscreen or you can use the steering wheel functions or there's, hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Turn the radio on, please. Please give me the radio station name. Radio 2. And there you go. Another thing I really like is the fact that it still has analog dials. There is a small digital screen which nestles between the two of them, uh, which it gives you all your driver information and obviously it pairs up with your sat nav so you have your instructions in front of you. You can also deploy your tow bar from here and open the tailgate, which is electric and that's standard across the range. Once in the back, now your passengers aren't afforded the same kind of luxury as they are up front. There are quite a few scratchy materials to be had in the back here. Um, that said, the seats are very comfortable and I obviously do have a lot of leg room and there's plenty of headroom. Um, now there are a few little things in here. There's a pull down armrest, which has um, fold out cup holders. And obviously there's a little bit of storage in there, nothing major. Um, there is, if you've got squabbling kids and you want to keep them apart, there's quite a nice little armrest that can just fall down. Because it's so wide, you could sit three people abreast here quite easily and actually the middle seat is quite comfortable. Um, it does have a, a reasonably high transmission tunnel, but actually there's so much foot room that you're not going to be squabbling, your passengers aren't going to be squabbling for, for space on their feet. Moving around to the back. so. As I said before, all the uh, GLC range comes with an electric tailgate as standard. So, uh, and it's a decent sized boot. It's 550 litres with all the seats in place, and that rises to 1,600 litres with the seats down. Now, putting the seats down is very easy. It's one button here and this one here, and they just flop forward to give you a really nice flat load base. There is also lockable stowage underneath the floor it's a decent size and because it's lockable, it's nice and safe. Now, it wasn't only the exterior and upgraded tech that Mercedes tweaked. They also gave the GLC a range of new engines. Our test car is the entry-level 220D Formatic Sport, which is now fitted with Mercedes' latest 2.0-litre diesel engine. And I'm happy to say that it's a great improvement over its predecessor. The clattery old diesel has been replaced by an altogether quieter and cleaner engine, which puts out 191 bhp at 3,800 revs per minute and offers 400 newton meters of torque. And the engine works really well. There's plenty of power when needed, and it'll sit very comfortably at a steady motorway cruising speed. The engine is mated to a nine-speed automatic gearbox, which is seamless in its delivery. 
And there's plenty of grip too, thanks to the standard four-wheel drive system. The GLC is definitely built for comfort rather than a sporty SUV, and that becomes apparent when traveling on the twistier country roads. The light steering feels a bit lifeless and doesn't really instill confidence, especially when cornering. However, it does make parking and threading your way through towns a real doddle, and the suspension does a great job of sorting out most of the lumps and bumps in the road. And the other thing that's really handy is um, the camera. So uh, just press this button here and you've got a, a menu of different angles. And the bottom one is a tow hitch camera. So it makes it really easy for hitching up your caravan. The GLC makes a really great towing companion. The engine and the gearbox are well suited and they did a great job of hauling the large Bailey Valencia caravan around my extensive test route. It handled all the inclines without being phased and the engine note was never more than a whisper. On the motorways, it was steadfastly stable and even in the adverse weather conditions I encountered, the GLC was safe and secure. So that's the GLC. It's the supremely comfortable, quiet motorway cruiser that has a lot to offer. It tows incredibly well, and it's a good practical family car. So if you are in the market for that premium uh, SUV, then I would definitely suggest having a look at the GLC.